morning students good morning students today we will study the stairs in this lecture we will discuss about the introduction of stairs technical terms used for stairs requirements of body stairs dimensions of steps types of steps and in the last classification of stairs introduction as we know that stairs are the set of steps which give access from floor to floor stairs give access from one floor to other the rooms are enclosed enclosure of the building in which stair is located is known as staircase stairs provide us a vertical uh, circulation or vertical movement in the buildings and stairs are constructed from different uh, types of materials like timber brick stone steel rcc etc the technical terms used in the stairs are first one is the step it is a portion of stair which permits ascent or descent it means that step is a portion uh, which we use for moving upward or downward tread tread is the upper, upper horizontal portion of a step then the riser riser is the vertical portion of a step landing it is the level platform at top or bottom of a flight between the floors flight this is an unbroken series of steps Could be landing. Sometimes we are having single flight, and sometimes we have two flight in a stair. Then the rise. Again, rise is the vertical distance between two successive treads. Going, going is the horizontal distance. Nosing, it is the projecting part of the, the tread beyond the face of riser. Scotia. it is a molding provided under the nosing to provide strength to the nosing so fit it is the underside of stair bottom portion of the uh, stair pitch or slope pitch or slope is the angle which is provided in the stairs it varies from uh, 20 to 20 degree to 45 degree slope is less than this number of steps in this is if slope is more then it is difficult to do this type of stair stringers or stringers in neon post neon post is a vertical member which is placed at the ends of flight to connect the ends of stringers and end rail thruster it is vertical member or board or metal supporting the handrail then head room head room it is the clear vertical distance between the tread and overload structure all these uh, terms are specified in this diagram here we have uh, first one is the newel post then the, these are the blusters string string is the bottom portion going then the riser tread handrail landing so from this uh, diagram we uh, we, uh, we have a clear idea of different terms which we use in the stair requirement of a good stair first one is the location stair should be located near the entrance of the building stair should be in reach of uh, all the people's living in a building at the stair we should have good ventilation and light available and there should be a spacious approach also width of stair it should be wide enough to carry the user without much crowd or inconvenience in residential building width is uh, about uh, 
90 centimeter and in public building it, it may vary from 1.5 to 1.88 meter length of flight the length of flight depends on the number of steps the maximum number of steps we, uh, we can provide in a single flight are 12 and uh, minimum is the three which of step which should be limited to 30 degree to 45 degree which means the angle which we provide in the uh, stair. Headroom. The height of headroom should not be less than 2.1 to 2.3 meter. Blustered. Stair should always provide with blustered. Step dimensions. The rise and going should be of such dimension as to provide comforts to users. The going should not be less than 25 centimeter. So 30 centimeter going is quite comfortable. So minimum going is 25 centimeter, maximum up to 30 centimeter. Rise should vary from 32, uh, uh, vary from 10 to 15 centimeter. The width of landing should not be less than the width of stair. Then the material used for the construction of stair, it should be fire resistant and uh, sufficiently strong and durable. The, this is the uh, dimension rule, the thumb rule for the dimensions of a step. Classification of classification of stairs. First one is the straight stairs. Second one is the Turning stair, then in turning stair, maybe of uh, some more types as, such as quarter turn, half turn, three quarter turn, or bifurcated. Then the continuous stairs, they uh, they have uh, continuous stairs are also have two types: circular staircase and spiral staircase. Then helical staircase. So these uh, are the major types of stairs generally we used in the buildings. First one is the state stair. State stair is provided when we have very less or limited space. We are unable to provide two flights, then we provide state stair. This is the diagram or the picture of the state stair. In the quarter turn stair. Quarter turn stair, if we have some more space, then we, pro we can provide quarter turn stair. Log lock. Log like stair is the example of uh, what turning stair. It consists of two straight flights with 180 degree turn. Its shape is look like the dog leg. That's why we call it as dog like stair. It is generally provided when we have sufficient space in the open newel stair. It is, uh, it is uh, similar to dog leg stair, but the clear space is provided between the two uh, flights. That's why it is called open bell or open newel. A bell shape is uh, created between two flights. This is the picture of a open newel stair. In geometrical stair, geometrical stairs. Uh, if we uh, provide some geometrical shape to open well, then we call these stairs as geometrical stairs. This is the diagram. This is the bifurcated stair. Bifurcated stair, uh, it bifurcates the users in two different directions. This is the example of bifurcated stair. Spiral stair, these are generally made up of steel or timber. Generally provide in the house, uh, outside the houses or inside the shops. This is the picture. The various materials which we use for the construction of stairs are timber, metal, RCC, stone, glass, etc. This is the timber staircase, the metal staircase, RCC staircase. These are the stone staircase. And in ancient times, we use uh, stone mostly in the stairs. These are the glass stairs. In the modern times, we are using glass stairs also. Students, thank you.